Hello everyone! In Origami Online today, we're learning how to make paper seals that will stand on their own. Can you remember which personal learning goal this seal represents at our school? That's right, international mindedness. Let's learn how to make our own international mindedness seal. To start, you'll need a piece of square paper. If you're using colored paper, make sure the colored side is down. First, we're going to fold our paper diagonally across. So we'll line up these corners and then make a nice crease. Then we'll unfold our paper and fold diagonally across the other way. Now we'll unfold our paper. Our next step is to fold this edge up to the center line, but we'll stop creasing when we hit this other line. Let me show you what I mean. I'm going to line up this edge to the middle crease, starting in this bottom corner. I'll crease up. and then stop when I get right here to that previous crease. When you open it up, it looks like this. Now we'll do the same on the top. We'll bring this line into the center crease. And then starting at the corner, crease up only until we get to this so you'll have a crease here, here, and here on that side. Now we'll do the same on this side. I'll fold this line, this edge, up to the center line. And crease only until our previous crease right here. Unfold that and do the same to the top. Use that edge up to our previous crease right here. Great. Now we're going to open that up. And our next step is to pinch together, fold together these three creases. So we'll fold this crease and this crease up. And then we have a piece of piece right here in the middle that's sticking straight up. We'll fix this crease and this crease and the middle. And then we're going to fold this black up. So your paper looks like this right now. Now we'll do the same thing to the other side. I'm going to fold these up and then pinch together this top flap. And then fold that up. So your paper looks like this right now. Now we're going to flip our model over and fold it in half. Great. Now, with this flap here, we want to fold the folded edge to this center line. These will be our seal's flippers. Now we'll flip the model over and do the same thing to the other side. Fold this crease to this center line. Okay, now 
will flip our model back over and we want to fold this triangle along this line here. So I'm just going to move that flap out of the way for now and fold this up and then make a nice crease here. Okay. Now this bit's a little bit tricky, but I know you can do it. We'll unfold here and then we're going to open up our paper from the top. We want to reverse fold or we'll push this inside and then refold along the guidelines that we just made. Great. This will be our seal's neck. Now, we're also going to reverse fold for the head. We'll open up that paper and then fold down. And we don't have a guideline here, so fold down to the point where you think the seal's head looks good. Then, we're going to open that head up again and fold back the very tip. Reverse fold up and in and then pinch it together again. Now we have our seal's face. Great, we're nearly finished. Our next step is to reverse fold the tail. So again, we'll open our paper up and then fold in. We also don't have a guideline here, so it's you fold as far as you would like your tail to be sticking up. I think that looks good. I want to fix the tip just a little. All right, we are nearly done with our seal. Our final step is to fold these flippers up along this line. Just fold that up and flip over your seal and do the same to the other side. Great, we have just made our own origami paper seals. To make it stand up, tilt your paper up and pull those flippers out just a little bit and we've done it. We've made our own seal. I hope you enjoyed today's seal tutorial and as always, feel free to post a picture of your awesome origami on your class dojo. Thanks everyone. See you next week.